Leos. Welcome to preview. This is going to be your love reading for 2020. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to start with my um, my lovely Earth Magic deck here. And, and then I will be using all four of my decks today. Um, if this reading does not resonate with you, please do check your Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as your North Node signs. Thank you. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, please do go to Breezy.com. All right, let's get started. I'm going to shuffle it one more time. Perfect. All right. God, please help me to get four beautiful cards to start this Leo reading. The Mountain Strand, your first card. Please help me to get three more cards for the Leos. Whoa. DNA Karma. Okay. Please help me to get two more. Music Harmony. One more card for the Leo signs. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Is it right? Okay. Alright. So, I'll take. Whoa. Whoa. Sheesh. Sheesh. So, there's a lot of cards for you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Let me fix myself. Alright. The next one we have is. Reflection. Reflection, yeah. Let's see, let's put it here. For those who came out. Fire, passion, lake, stillness. Beautiful. So, um, what I'm getting right off the bat is like, you have a lot of inner strength. I feel like there's certain things that you really need to reflect on, um, as far as karma is concerned. There may be certain karma that you're dealing with, um, but you also need to do some self-reflection and some inner work as well, but also continuously focusing on what it is that can help you to balance yourself out um, and also to focus on what you are passionate about moving forward. I feel like you will find a lot of harmony within once you like really focus on zoning in on what it is that you're passionate about. And also ways that you can help yourself to achieve those goals or those dreams that you have. But the lake stillness, I feel like you need to really focus on your intuition with certain things and using your inner um, voice and discernment when it comes to love um, moving forward as well. Alright, thank you God for those beautiful messages. Please help me to get some cards for Leo's love life. Alright, beautiful, thank you. Alright, so... To get us started, I have the man holding a heart. So it looks like if you are a man or a woman, you have your heart open and you are ready to receive and or give love. Or this could be someone who is approaching you. All right. And then I have the fifth chakra. So in my chakra Bible, let's see what it says. This is the solar plexus chakra. The key issues are power, fear, anxiety, and introversion. The inner aspect is opinion and personal power. The physical action is digestion. Mental action is power. Emotional action is expansiveness. And spiritual action is growth. Alright? So with that, um, you're definitely growing, working on yourself. Um, like I was saying, like you need to do some inner work and reflection. Especially with this reflection card there and stillness, you really need to do, you need to go within and really work on yourself with the harmony there as well. This could be for you or the person that you're in a relationship with or would like to be in a relationship with is what I heard. Um, you really need to work on, you know, how to find that harmony or, you know, balance between you and this person or even within yourself um, for some then I have card number 19, rest and rejuvenation. You really need to rest and rejuvenate. And that's probably also why the stillness card is here. You know what? That's perfect. Rest and rejuvenate. I'm going to put that under. Well, actually, no. I'm going to leave it right there. So with rest and rejuvenate, you really need to meditate, um, do some yoga, find other ways for you to relax, maybe even go on by water. Um... You know, maybe for some of you guys, that could be really nice for you. Um, but yeah, definitely taking that time to get some sleep if you need it. Rejuvenate yourself by meditating, doing yoga, 
um, doing some aromatherapy or sound therapy or even going to a, a masseuse, getting a massage, that would be nice. Maybe some of you guys need to do that. Then card number 24, adjacent possibilities. I feel like a lot of possibilities are coming in. I do feel like you have the strength to overcome them and have the strength to move through those um, opportunities as well. Um, but you need to stay focused on what it is that you truly do want. Um, and that's really what's going to help you guys as well. So maybe you guys need to reflect on that. What possibilities or what opportunities are going to be the best for you in love, in life in general, even financially. All right. Ooh. Thank you, God, for those beautiful messages that have come through for the side of Leo. Please help me to get some clarification on this Carla. Mm. And why they need strength to get through it. Or it's some insights or clarity on their situation. Okay. So, cornucopia. You guys are definitely working towards what it is you have dreams or goals on with this cornucopia card. It's what, you know, you perceive to be like the ultimate like happiness you know and that's what it is that you're trying to work towards and that's what you need your strength for as well as when it comes to hostilities so this could be karmic you know partners or karmic people from the past or your partner's past even um who could be hostile or just people who are just envious of you period but i feel like you will strategize towards what it is that you truly want with this cornucopia card and i feel like you're going to move past those hostilities with the strength card not only that but you are going to work yourself to this beautiful happy family i feel like you will be able to do that once you stay focused like on like i feel like you just need to stay focused let me see is there any other messages hmm. Hold on, just give me one second, let me see something. Yeah, I feel like I even need to do... Okay. Anyways. Any other information, um, as far as the stillness goes? Well... Okay. okay, the first one is a storm warning. So maybe like something unexpected could happen and this could be a result of like those people who are hostile towards you. Um, and then I have the temple path. So again, like finding a place of like solitude, um, also like spiritually finding that security within yourself and through your spirituality. Then we have card number 49 coming out with love. Oh, the angel of love. Card number 49. So I feel like a lot of love is going to be coming into your life as well. And you just want to make sure that you um, continue to really relax yourself and focus on self-love. Um, as well as not overworking yourself or upsetting yourself. Well, these are beautiful. Wow, that is very beautiful. Then after these cards, I got card number 53, this is a magician in the mirror. I feel like you do have what it takes to achieve what you want, is what I just heard. And then the last card I have out for you guys is the Angel of Strength. So again, I feel like you have the power um, to continue to push through whatever hostilities or, you know, envious people are around you. But, you know, just take that as a warning that there is those type of people around you. Um, but again, I don't feel like you really need to worry about that because I feel like better things or good things are coming in for you moving forward. Um, and then I see here under that is the third chakra. So you really need to open up and communicate more. The angel of balance, balancing yourself out, door to romance, opening your heart a lot more. Um, definitely it's going to be key for you guys moving forward. Just some advice for you all. All right. Now I'm going to go into, whoops, <laughs> go into my third deck here with some positive messages that I can get for you guys. Thank you guys so much for all these beautiful messages that have come through for Leo's love reading. 
Please help me to get a few more cards just to wrap up their reading. All right, if you want to say, I'm going to shuffle two times. Two times. That's what I just heard. Shuffle two more times. So I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm just a little tired, so this is going to be my last reading of the morning. Um, But yeah, it was definitely a really good love reading. Um, There's definitely some work that you need to do. And definitely things that you really need to focus on in order to really move forward. But I feel like it's definitely going to happen. Not only that, but I feel like you have... I feel like you have the strength to do it with the strength card. And that coming out with the magician is like, you are definitely able to make those changes. Um, you just have to believe in sort of the Alright, God, please help me to get some, a couple of positive messages. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Aw, thank you, God. All right, beautiful. All right, so with these last two cards I got out for you guys, the first one, instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good for all. Yes, I love that. I am the loving energy of the universe. Yes, even better. So not only, um... I'm getting with the first one is like don't always just pray for yourself and the outcome of what you want for you but honestly praying for the highest good of others is definitely a practice that um I would say like people really should do a lot more often when they do pray it's praying for others as well um and then this last card I'm the loving energy of the universe I love that like really just embracing that loving energy of the universe and really just you know, um, showing other people that loving energy as well. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle this last one, this last deck of cards, just to get some info or insight on certain things that you guys can do to work on your, your seven chakras and really aligning and balancing out yourself in an even deeper way to find that harmony. Oh, beautiful. Music, harmony, abundance, and creation. Gorgeous. So I feel like you guys are definitely creating for some of you. Definitely creating new things. And it's going to work out. It surely is. I want to see any messages for them. Beautiful. Alright, thank you, God. So the messages that I got for you guys. Perception. Despondence and insecurity. Oof. Alright, so let's get into this. Let's get into this and wrap it up. Alright, so... I feel like there's certain things that you really need to reflect on in order to change your perception on certain things and how you how you were looking at things. With despondence, I'm not sure what that means, but I feel like she just looks like a hating ass bitch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> like if you can see her face, like I don't know. Can y'all see her face? I don't know if you can see her face, but she's just like and the girl's just like, wait, I'm holding up the moon. With the earth on my belly, and she's just like, the fuck? Like, she's just looking like hey, nice bitch. So again, with hostilities, like, that just came up for that. So maybe changing your perception on how people are looking at you when, you know, they, they're they just being envious or hostile towards you, looking at it as, like, um, one of the cards that, like, I love in that positive deck, it comes out and it says, like, um, it's, like, something about, like, fear and like you know different ways that people act out or whatever um or really are just calls for help and that's what I'm kind of getting with that like you know like trying to change your perspective on that as well because people may have like you know come at you a certain way don't always think it's because of you know something wrong with you it may just be something that they truly need to work on within themselves and then insecurity came out as well so I feel like maybe there's something that you're insecure about or maybe you can be insecure about your love um, and that's very hard for you. But I feel like you have the strength to really, you know, persevere through that. And under that, balance. Yes. Balancing yourself out. Enlightenment. Yes. Yes. I love that. And prayer. Again. Again. Instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good of all. Prayer. Yes. 
So that is, that's a double emphasis. Uh, what's the word? Emphasis <laughs> on prayer from you guys. All right, so Leo, that was your love reading. Um, please do check out Breezy.com if you'd like a personal reading. Also check out my other videos for your sun, moon, and rising signs, as well as your north nodes. Thank you.